Right, I decided I will do a bit of video. I've just come around the corner from the church, which is through the trees over there. I'm going down Vicarage Lane. Very appropriate, isn't it? Because this is where the vicarage is. Um, I never really videoed this. Shalom! Oh yes, shalom, yes. I remember my days in Israel. We used to say, greet each other with that. Shalom, shalom. So there we got the um, the vicarage, and then in the in the back, whoop, in the back we've got um, the church around the back. Yes. So I just caught someone on video. Then. <sighs> yeah, we got the church in the back. All these people in these posh homes have got like these huge, big four-wheel things. They're like huge trucks that they drive about in. Really very imposing and threatening. I mean, I know I've got my Alberta, but you know, they, they're like mini tanks that they drive about in. These women, that, you know, mainly I see driving them. Yeah, it's a big house in there. I remember last year, I didn't really... Um, I didn't video a lot here because um, I was going to be going up a country lane with high hedges but the river parrot will be over there somewhere and I'll be going up this lane and then then I'll be going um, so there's that over there right <sighs> then I'll be going um down to the river. Now I think I'll leave the camera rolling a bit because look at the beauty. All the green is coming out in this beautiful Somerset country lane. The dandelions, the hedgerows, the twittering of birds and Sheila's murmurings. And there looks to be like a little orchard in there as well. And the farmer's been out and clipped the hedges so there's a little bit of light in. So I think we'll be all right today. It says it's going to be dry. It didn't say rain whatsoever, but I'm still wearing big coat because I can always take my jumper off and put it in the bag and just put the coat on. At a squeeze, I can put this coat in the bag as well, but it'll be really heavy. But basically, it can be quite cold, the wind, when you're down by the river. It wasn't the other day, it was nice. But um, you have to be prepared. There's an orchard there, look, and through there is just the tower of the church poking up, look. St John the Baptist Paulet, or Pollock, however you like. There's a the sound of a tractor in the background. In that field there. I mean, I would get one of those cameras. I mean, I spent £260 on this little camera, Sony. I've got other cameras as well, but uh, basically, you know, you look a bit silly. If you, so if you're on a mountain bike in a wood and you're a mountain biker, it looks all right with a camera on your head. But if you're going out in the general public, it does look a little bit weird. So this is the village of Paulet. Paulet. I think I've always called it Paulet. Um, but I, and it, it's got big history. It goes back a long way. You know, we're going back to 1066 here with the, the lands around here dished out by the conqueror. <sighs> Battles were fought here in the Civil War. There is a lot of history. And on my last video, I probably referred to it. Um, and I will have a lot of documentation about... Um, the war here, you know, when the Duke of Monmouth faced 
um, the king and everything and there was a, a battle at, at Western Island, the Battle of Sedgemoor, one of the last battles ever fought between English people on in England. Not as massive as the Battle of Towton, <coughs> which was a massive, um, 28,000 were killed at that. But this one was brutal in different ways. They hung local farmers and labourers. They hung, drawn and quartered them. They, they, they humiliated them here. Many Somerset men died here. But you see, the thing is, they weren't anti-royal. They were following the Duke of Monmouth, who had a claim to the throne, but was seen as an intruder. That, well, that might not be true either. There's a lot of history, and if you go to Blake Museum in Bridgewater, they've got it all in there. So I'm just doing a little bit of video and going along. Like I always do. While it's not windy, I can talk. I probably talk too much on my videos. I don't really know. People don't say whether they prefer me not to. It's like a narration I'm doing now. That's pretty, isn't it? I can't remember the name of that. But the bees are out already. The bees are out on the flowers of that tree. That shrub. It's covered in ivy, so I'm not quite sure what that's called. I, I ought to know, really, you know. I mean, I did in the past. When I was a kid, I knew a lot. Uh, what it is, um, I know a lot, but I can't remember it. <laughs> it's stored. If my mind gets stimulated in a certain way, everything comes back. But I can't recall just like that anymore. You know, unfortunately, but it's all in there. I believe that. I believe it is. It is still stored. Even these people with dementia and Alzheimer's. If there was a way of crossing the synaptic gap, fixing those bridges, I'm sure everything would come back. I know part brain cells do disappear as well, but I, I reckon your memory banks are pretty good. I reckon it's still all in there. And then, of course, it all turns to blancmange. Mushy soup. Not long after death. They have to get the brain out quick to preserve it. Because it just turns to a, like a custard. Very, it doesn't take long for it to liquefy. Once the electricity's gone and the blood supply. Anyway, we don't want to talk about that. We're on River Road now. Up that way to Paula, and you can go up there and join a path over to the big hangar. <coughs> and I'll be doing that again later in a way. I've got a little plan today for a type of <sighs> figure eight type walk, it's called. And I'll be over there, I can just see the roof of it, is our barrage balloon hangar. That's just the roof you can see there. I will end up going past that in a minute. Not in a minute, in a couple of hours, because I've got two big loops of the river to do. That's the police helicopter after me again. I had a bloke following me the other day. Well, he probably wasn't, but he didn't have a dog, and he came out of nowhere. There's a picture of the church again over there. Just to show you the bearings, I've walked from there in a couple of minutes, you see. The cockerel looks really high up now. Didn't look that high earlier. But of course, if you go up there, you can join the, the lane that takes you down past the barrage balloon, the barrage balloon shed, and takes you down that long track to join the river further down, near work, near Cummage. Right, over and out. <laughs>